Hello everyone, this is your German teacher Erhan Özdemir from Istanbul, Turkey. In this lesson we are going to learn the article as you understand that this is this has to do with the articles. In uh, English we have also the article right which is the T-H-E but in German we have three uh, articles which are der, die and das. Okay? Der here we have it with blue, uh, stands for masculine, D stands for feminine, das for nurture. And we have also the plural form, uh, which is visualized with, uh, with a yellow. And these are visual, visualizing, uh, which is in many sources. These colors are actually used in many sources and many books. Okay, so let's start with uh, their article. Okay, here we have der Bleistift, der Bleistift, which stands for pencil. That's pencil in German, der Bleistift. If we are uh, talking about, uh, we are mentioning about uh, television, then would say der Fernseher, der Fernseher, which stands for TV. Der Füller, der Füller, which is pen, so pen stands for der Füller. Der CD player, der CD player, same as in English. Der Tisch, der Tisch, table, der Tisch. Der Stuhl, der Stuhl, we also have this in English, stool or chair, der Stuhl. Der Kugelschreiber, der Kugelschreiber, or we can say der Kuli, der Kuli, ballpoint, the ballpoint, you know, uh, pencils, or yeah, we can say ballpoint actually, der Kuli, der Radiergummi, der Radiergummi, eraser stands for der Radiergummi, der computer der computer uh, in german we need to have all the nouns with the related articles there is no uh, actually a logic we have to memorize this with the articles which is uh, used together okay so uh, I can say Bleistift, only Bleistift. I need to mention the article to it and that would be then der Bleistift. So if I say die Bleistift or das Bleistift, that wouldn't be correct, okay? So the articles which are related are important. So I need to call the noun with the related article, okay? So let's continue with die. Here we have die Tafel. Die Tafel, which stands for blackboard. Die Tafel. Die Kreide. Die Kreide. That stands for chalk. Chalk. Die Tasche. Die Tasche. Bag stands for die Tasche. Here we have die Lampe. Die Lampe. Same as in English, almost. Lamp. That stands for the lamp. Here we have the Uhr, the Uhr, that's our or watch, the Uhr. As you uh, noticed something here, almost, almost every uh, word which has an E ending is related with the article D. But I say almost because there are so many uh, irregular forms where you see the noun uh, with an E ending, but has an, uh, another article. So German is full with surprises. So we should uh, mention this also. And uh, the better is to, uh, that we relate this with the article, okay? Here we have das article, which stands for Nutter, okay? Das Buch, das Buch, which is book in English, okay? Das Handy, das Handy, yeah, that's mobile phone. In German, we call it das Handy. Das Heft, das Heft, that's notebook, okay? 
das Wörterbuch, das Wörterbuch, ja, yeah, that was Buch, Book, Wörterbuch, Words Book, that is Dictionary in English. So, Dictionary in German is das Wörterbuch. Arbeitsbuch is related with the article das, so das Arbeitsbuch, das Arbeitsbuch, that's a workbook, workbook. So, Arbeiten, here we have the verb Arbeiten, uh, that means to work, but we, uh, as we uh, bring this together with Buch, we have to put the S and we need to say das Arbeitsbuch, okay? Uh, Kursbuch, that's course, if we mention the course book, we'll say das Kursbuch, das Kursbuch. Das Foto, das Foto, same as in English, das Papier, das Papier, this is almost same in English, which stands for paper, okay, das Papier. Das Lernplakat, das Lernplakat, that's actually a, a poster where there are, you know, informations, uh, Let's say if there are words in that poster, it's called a learning poster actually, and it's das Lernplakat, pronounced in uh, German, das Lernplakat, okay? So uh, if this was too fast for you, let's repeat after me, please. Der Bleistift, der Bleistift, der Fernseher, der Fernseher. Der Füller, der Füller, der CD-Player, der CD-Player, der Tisch, der Tisch, der Stuhl, der Stuhl, der Kugelschreiber, der Kugelschreiber, der Kuli, der Kuli. Der Radiergummi, der Radiergummi, der Computer, der Computer, die Tafel, die Tafel, die Kreide, die Kreide, die Tasche, die Tasche, die Lampe, die Lampe, die Uhr. Die Uhr, das Buch, das Buch, das Handy, das Handy, das Heft, das Heft, das Wörterbuch, das Wörterbuch, das Arbeitsbuch, das Arbeitsbuch, das Kursbuch. Das Kursbuch, das Foto, das Foto, das Papier, das Papier, das Lernplakat, das Lernplakat. So, let's continue with the, the article, which is the plural form. The plural form is related with the color yellow, okay? No matter if the article is der, die, or das, it doesn't matter. If it's the plural form, the article becomes die, okay? But in the endings, in, Ger uh, in English, we have the endings as s, right? But in German, it's not only s. It could be s, it could be a ending, it could be er, it could be, uh, there is no difference, uh, the word, the noun, can stay at, as it is and become only uh, the, the article. So we'll see uh, how we are going to relate these words, okay? Let's start with the der article. Here we have der Bleistift, okay? Der Bleistift, which stands for pencil, right? If we say pencils, we'll say then die Bleistifte. And then we don't mention der anymore, this will become D, okay? And that will be then pronounced as 
die Bleistifte. Okay? Here we have the Fernseher. What if we uh, make a plural of this? This will be then die Fernseher. I'll only put here die and that's what I do. I don't put anything here in the ending. There's nothing. So die Fernseher, that means the televisions. Okay? Here we have der Füller and the plural form will remain the same. Then this will be die Füller. Okay? Just like here, die Fernseher, die Füller. Guess what? Here the same. Der CD player, the plural form will remain the same. So die CD player. But here, der Tisch, here we have the ending, die Tische. Die Tische, the desks, the tables, okay? Die Tische, die Tische. Here, uh, be careful here, we have E, but also U becomes Ü. So, die Stühle, that will be then the stools, the chairs. The plural form will be then die Stühle. And here, uh, here we have Kugelschreiber, just like here, Füller. It will remain the same, right? So the, this will be pronounced as die Kugelschreiber. But here we have der Kuli, right? So if we want to make the plural form of this, this will be done die Kulis. Die Kulis. And here der Radiergummi. Same as here, right? This will be done, die Radiergummis. And here, computer, just like here, Kugelschreiber, player, it will remain the same. So, I'll say, der Computer for the singular form and the plural form will be done, die Computer, it will remain the same. Now look at the, the article, okay? Die Tafel, so if I want to make a plural form of this, what will happen? Die Tafeln. N. Die Tafeln. Die Kreide. Die Kreiden. Die Tasche. Die Taschen. Die Lampe. Die Lampen. Die Uhr. Here we have to put E and the Uhren. That easy. So we can say that in the D articles we put only N and that's it. Okay? Now let's see uh, the das article. Okay? And this will become the plural form. So for this we need to put ER, das Buch, book. But if we say books, then watch out. Die Bücher, die Bücher, the books, okay? Here, Handy, das Handy, just like here, Radiergummi, that will have the S ending and stands for die Handys, das Heft, das Heft. Here we had der Bleistift, die Bleistifte, so that will have the what ending? E ending. So that will be then die Hefte. Okay? Das Wörterbuch, just like here, that will have Ü, E, R ending. So die Wörterbücher. Okay? And here as well, das Arbeitsbuch, die Arbeitsbücher. Here as well, die Kursbücher. Right? Okay, here we have das Foto, right? And that sounds a little bit English, right? So how would we uh, call this in the plural form? That will be then die Fotos, right? Papier, das Papier, this will have the E ending, die Papiere, okay? Plakat, just like Heft, das Plakat will become the E ending, it will get the E ending, so das Plakat, die Plakate, or 
die Lernplakate. So please repeat after me. Die Bleistifte. Die Bleistifte. Die Fernseher. Die Fernseher. Die Füller. Die Füller. Die CD-Player. Die CD-Player. Die Tische. Die Tische. Die Stühle. Die Stühle. Die Kugelschreiber. Die Kugelschreiber. Die Kulis. Die Kulis. Die Radiergummis. Die Radiergummis. Die Computer. Die Computer. Die Tafeln. Die Tafeln. Die Kreiden. Die Kreiden. Die Taschen. Die Taschen. Die Lampen. Die Lampen. Die Uhren. Die Uhren. Die Bücher. Die Bücher. Die Handys, die Handys, die Hefte, die Hefte, die Wörterbücher, die Wörterbücher, die Arbeitsbücher, die Arbeitsbücher, die Kursbücher, die Kursbücher, die Fotos, die Fotos, die Papiere, die Papiere, die Lernplakate. Die Lernplakate. So, in this lesson we had the article, the articles in German. We had those in details, der, die, das, but also the plural form of these. And there are, of course, many other nouns. And those other nouns will uh, be shown all, uh, in the related videos as well. So uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave comments, hit the bell button and uh, like and share it with those who want to learn German. As we are in the end of the lesson, I want to share a Turkish word with you, which stands for see you. Görüşmek üzere. Again, görüşmek üzere. So, see you soon. Auf Wiedersehen.